Hi, in this video of CSS, we'll learn how we can include the CSS along with the HTML. So far, we have seen a bit, but here we will cover all the way like what are the different ways of including the CSS with the HTML. So, we are going to discuss about the four different things. First one is the inline style sheet. Inline style sheet is something where you will write any HTML tag and right after that you will use the style attribute and inside that you will start writing all the style rules in the CSS syntax. Embedding is something where you will write the CSS code inside the header section of the HTML document inside the style tag. So there we will write all the style rules and those will be applicable for the current HTML page only. So after that in the body whichever HTML tag you are putting either you can use the name selector, ID selector, class selector, universal selector whatever but that will be applicable for the current page only. If you want to write a style sheet that should be applicable for the all the pages of your website then you will have to create a separate file with an extension .css and then you will write all the style rules inside that file. Later you are having two different ways of including those style rules in any HTML page that is linking and importing. These are the two ways which will help us out in getting the style from, from a separate CSS document and where we will implement that in a current HTML page. So let's see a practical implementation of the different ways how we can link the style sheet with the HTML. So now in this particular video we'll start working with the inline style sheet. So basically what I'll do as here you can see there are a couple of tag that is h1 and h2 and here is the output of these h2 and h1 tag. Now if I want to put the inline style sheet what I'll do like the attribute we used to pass in any of the tags so far here I will use this style as the attribute. After that here what I'll do I'll just put some of the values as I was doing in the previous video where we just saw the simple example. Like here if I want to change the color of this H1 what I'll do I'll say color to blue. As soon as I'll do that you can see the color of this particular text this particular heading is turned to blue. Similarly if I want to change the font family again I can come to font family attribute here in this style and I will use any of like in the previous video we use SMS that is the same I am going to do here as well and here you can see the difference. So basically the way to write the attribute and the value will remain same but the thing is we will actually pass the value in the style attribute right where I am putting the tag. Since this one is in line, if I'll put any other H1 tag, these styles will not be applicable in that heading. Like this is a sample text. So here you can see the another heading is not getting affected with the inline because this style attribute is particularly for this H1 only. So it will not be applicable for any other H1 tag. Now if you want to put some common designs for all the h1 available on this web page as we have done in the initial video as well so for that what i'll do i'm just removing this style from here and i'll come back to the head section where i'll put the style tag just make a good practice to pass the type attribute here where i'll put a value text slash css and here since i want to pass it for heading I will use the values like color to blue, font family to ms. So now all the h1 available in this particular page will be turned to the same style set which I have used for the h1 tag and similarly you can make it for any other tag you want. 
there are different selectors which I will cover in our next video but here I'm, I'm just telling you what are the different ways of putting these style things in the web page alright so here first thing was the inline style sheet and here I'm actually embedding the style sheet inside the head section of the same HTML document Let's put some styles for the H2 as well before proceeding. So here color is green and text decoration is underlined. So it is coming with the underlined. Now these are the two ways in which you can put the things in the same HTML document. Remember if you have passed some of these styles by embedding and if you want to make some changes in a particular thing again you can come to h1 tag for example if for this particular h1 I want underline so what I can do I can actually come and still can pass the inline style sheet so here what I'll do I'll say text decoration underline so not the first H1 but the second H1 will be decorated with the underline like this. Similarly, if you want to change some of the attribute which is being defined initially, like for example, I said like all the H1 will be having color blue and the text MS. But maybe if you want particularly this H1 should not come in MS, then you can just pass the same attribute again here and that will overwrite the previous one it is like the inheritance if you are from the programming background that this one is the parent and this one is the child specific val uh, values so if there is nothing defined then it will take it from the parent otherwise it will take its own value if you want to make some changes like font family here I want to put it Arial so I'll come here and you can see this is the Arial text. So this is about the embedding and inline style sheet. But if you want, you can just cut all these style attributes from here. And I'll take another document where I'll save them all. And now let's save it in the same folder. Like currently I'm working in the CSS folder. Uh, inside which you have the demo.htm. And inside this, I will save it as styles.css. And here, early you can find the CSS extension as well. So you can choose it from here as well. So now I have saved this CSS. All right. So now next thing what I'll do. So let's come back to the browser. And if I'll refresh, you can see only the inline style sheet where I said font family Arial and text decoration underline is still there. Rest all the styles are gone away. So what can I do is I can actually link this style sheet into this HTML document and for that what I'll do I'll come to the head section again and here I will pass the link tag. I don't want to put anything inside it so I just close it it will be a non pair tag or empty tag and now link relation relation is that I'm going to use a style sheet so link relation is a style sheet again you can specify type which type of text this linked file is going to bring here it will be the CSS the, again the mime type and href the most important thing that's the hyper reference so both are in the same folder and inside that CSS there's a file called styles.css so again I'm passing the relative path out here so maybe if it's done I should get these styles back so let's refresh it here so now I get all these styles which I have defined in this style. So these are the different ways using which you can actually use a style sheet inside an HTML document. So here we covered the three ways that is the inline style sheet like this, the embedding style sheet where we put the style tag in the same HTML document 
and this is the linking where I created a separate style sheet and then I pass the hyper reference here in the link tag and here is how it is working. So this is all about the different ways of using the style sheet in HTML.